Welcome to the weird and wonderful world of Ms. Stina Nordestam, ethereal Swedish singer-songwriter with a voice the likes of which you've never heard before. At only 25 years of age, Norden just released her second album to critical acclaim. And she closed her eyes as a vocal painting, delving into affairs of the human heart with a good sweep of misery and pain along the way. And she closed her eyes and said, No, I'm not in bed. No, I'm not in bed. Nordenstam grew up in a house full of music. Her father's jazz collection was her earliest influences. It was when I was about 16, I went to New School, music school, where lots of people were very much into jazz, and uh, so was I at the time, for about one and a half year. So, I mean, if, if I'm, the jazz influence that I've got is not from my childhood, it's from when I was a teenager. It has been said of her style of singing that she's on silence, but it's also a possibility that people's reaction to her will be quite extreme, either loving or hating her very unique sound. And he smiled and said, It's not very nice to be hated, of course, <laughs> but it's... I remember the first time I... I mean, when I realized that, and that was um, just before my first record was released in Sweden. But the actual moment when I realized that people might be, some might be very irritated and annoyed by my voice. And that was quite depressing. <laughs> or, I mean, I was surprised. I was, I'd never thought about it. And in just one hour's time, you can see the second part of our special on Stina Nordestam, where we talk to her about comparisons to Björk and being the reluctant pop star. We talk to her about comparisons to Icelandic singer Björk and her preference towards keeping a low profile. The comparisons between Stina Nordestam and Björk have started to filter through already, but so far the only thing they have in common is video director Michelle Gondry, who is responsible for the award-winning human behaviour clip for the Icelandic Pixie and the video for Stina's new single, Little Star. I think she's good, so in a way it's interesting, but um, I don't think that our music had a lot in common. Definitely not. I wrote the song extremely, it, it took me a very short time. It was, um, things like that is always very, feels very, very healthy. You feel very rich when you do things like that. Um, and it was, um, it's about a suicide, I think. I'm not sure what I think. Nordestan's own little star looks very bright, but she's graduated with flying colours from the school of reluctant pop star, not wanting to do many interviews and preferring not to play live. I've been sort of concentrating on being the, my writing and it doesn't feel natural not to sort of be planning the live part of it. The musical business, everything's so set, so it's very easy to sort of uh, be doing things different. <laughs> I mean, to be regarded as difficult. <laughs> 